Ever since the cross through the Sahara Desert, when our Homo sapiens ancestors stepped out of the African continent, the pace of expansion to the north never ceased. In almost all literary works and tribal legends, the north has always been synonymous with wildness, coldness and prosperity. In the endless mountains and wilderness, where trees cannot grow, most animals cannot survive, frozen rivers flow slowly. They have changed the shape of the land, affected the survival and evolution of all living things on the earth. They were tightly linked to the rise and fall of ancient civilizations, while their influences ascended and destructed countless dynasties. Glaciers cover about one-tenth of the world's land area and are found in the Northern Hemisphere mainly in Alpine areas, Greenland and in the mountains near the Arctic Circle. When we look at the satellite mode of the world map, the land that is covered in white is the territory of the glaciers. However, the true colour of the glaciers is not white. The surface ice appears white like snow, for it's low in density and high in air content. The massive volume of high-density ice inside the glacier absorbs more red and yellow light than blue light, which, in the human eye, becomes pure blue ice. When the soft, fresh snow falls in the valley at the source of the glacier, the warmth brought by the sun and the pressure from the weight compresses the snow to about one-tenth of its original volume. The compressed ice is layered over time, while the thickest mountain glaciers can reach over 1,400 metres. Billions of tons of blue ice flow slowly down the mountain under the pull of gravity. There are significant differences in the flow rates of different glaciers, ranging from half a metre to 46 metres per day. These massive frozen rivers are running down the mountain slowly but unstoppable. Huge friction erodes the mountains, grinding the rocks into particles. The particles rush down the mountain along with the undercurrent inside the glaciers. As the temperature rises in summer, the end of the ice tongue melts and calves. The meltwater flows into the glacial lakes below the valley. The glacial water contains finely distributed silt and clay particles, which makes the glacial lake turn into a milky blue colour. If we look down from the air, the reflection of the clouds is sinking into the water. In Greenland, near the Arctic, about 83% of the island's land area is covered by glaciers. The Greenland Ice Cap. As a relic of the Quaternary Glaciation, this land is a miniature ice age, and it is also the Arctic in people's minds. The ice layer has an average thickness of 1,600 metres and a maximum thickness of 3,200 metres, while it takes at least a month to travel across the Greenland ice sheet on foot from the west coast to the east. In the centre of this white continent, there is no trace of animals, left only the unspoken loneliness and desolation. On the coastlines, the ice carves into icebergs, floating on the ocean and then gradually melts away. Since global warming began in the 1980s, the retreating of glaciers has intensified. 
at the Exit Glacier in Alaska. In the summer of 2016 alone, the glacier retreated 76.8 meters. From 1980 to 2016, the average thickness of global glaciers was reduced by 22 meters, equivalent to the height of a seven-story building. 80% of the glaciers in Western Canada may disappear in the next 50 years, including this one. What really made me realize the seriousness of the incident was the two Icelandic glacier shooting trips in 2015 and 2017. Standing in front of the same glacier and seeing the exposed black ground after the retreat of the glacier throughout the past two years, I realized the true meaning behind the data. These glaciers have witnessed the human civilization from the struggling to survive to exploring the universe. Perhaps we'll be the generation to bid them farewell. If, in the future, the north is no longer cold, the glaciers have all melted and the global sea surface temperature rises, we will be facing more natural disasters caused by the El Nino phenomenon. Flood, hurricane, drought, wildfire, famine, plague, The discussion about whether glacial retreating is only related to human activities has never stopped. However, in any case, global warming and the melting of the glaciers are indisputable facts. The development of new energy sources to reduce carbon emissions, the promotion of meat substitutes to reduce the scale of livestock farming, these attempts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and to slow down the global warming process are the hope of mankind to move forward into the future on planet Earth. Before the next ice age, perhaps the breathtaking frozen rivers will slowly disappear from our sight. As an insignificant individual who is witnessing this historical process, all I can do is record the images of the glaciers. In hundreds of millions of years in the future, in the endless time after the disappearance of human civilization, the glaciers will once again cover the northern land and will once again melt away. So reciprocating, like the long breath of the earth.